Hi guys, John here. We'll do the part two for the micro aluminium OSD from fourprops.co.uk. And um, a little quick note because on the part one I forgot to mention that when you open the file to change, you'll need to go into the config part and just make a little couple of changes in there. The I'm using the YS micro and down here because I'm using clean flight I've emphasized clean flight and if you don't emphasize what you're going to be using then your radio <coughs> will talk to your micro minimum OSD but your micro minimum OSD won't talk to your flight controller so if you're using clean flight define clean flight and to define all you need to do is it'll be like that it's just delete those two and if someone else has been defined like that, you just put two in and that's it so that's just a quick quick note we'll go to the actual minimum SD and have a look at that so here we have it all wired up plugged in working as it should I've done the part one that showed you how to flash it I've got um, a four cell hooked up to it. And what I did to get the voltage, I'll just use the voltage meter. Anybody who's got one knows I do it. Just tap it in there, tap it on there, get your voltage, and then you can calibrate your voltage on your OSD itself. I've also stuck a little photo up at the beginning of this video to show you exactly how I've wired it up. And I've put these um, pins pins on so I can plug servo extensions in. And so now I'll get here I've got my camera, the yellow wire, the green wire is my BTX. This goes to the flight. So a little bit. <coughs> this one goes to the flight controller. I think that's you at three. Maybe, yeah, you are three on the SP3 flight controller. Then to power it, I've got um, five volts coming straight from the straight from the flight controller where you plug your ESCs in. <clears throat> then for the main battery voltage, I've got it coming straight from the PDB board straight up to there, so that feeds the true voltage of the battery to the OSD. Like I said, there's a little picture at the beginning of this. You can. Go back to that and pause it and look for yourself. So now let's have a look at the OSD footage itself. So we're at the OSD itself and about the dark in the room a bit so you can't see the reflection off the screen. <coughs> so what I'll do is cap the lens so we can see. I'll give it a restart so you can see how it restarts itself. <coughs> RSSI critical. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. Yeah, nice little menu there. Tells you how to get into the main options. What we do is we put a throttle halfway. Then we push the throttle to the right. Then we push up on the opposite stick. And that gets us into his menu. And this is where the magic begins. We scroll through the menu, change some of the things, like up here, this is where you change your voltage. I set mine to 222 to get the right voltage for the main screen. There's a number of pages, but there's a lot of things that obviously on a 180 I'm not going to have RSSI, don't need it, it's on the radio. This is the actual display itself. You can change some of the display back. So, for instance, we'll put the horizon back on, side bars on, scrolling bars on, the throttle. <coughs> that's accessible on this screen. See this page, some more. And you get the main idea. PIDs, save and exit, 
and then you see this the horizon bars back on you've got your mode across stabilize horizon your arm it's armed and this little thing side here it's your throttle now I like this for tells me while I'm recording it you get some sort of a marker to tell you how efficient your props are you'll notice as time has started at 17 there that's your actual flight time Two point zero. The main time is two nine. Flight time is still at twenty-two, twenty-four. And that flight time timer will keep at that until you change to the next battery. So even if you crash and then you take off again, you're getting your actual flight time, not your downtime. It's a nice touch to exit and just push your stick up to the middle. So we'll get back into the menu. We'll just change some of this here. Because as I was saying, the first part, if you don't choose your clean flight board and tell the OSD what board you're using when you save these, they won't actually save. You can change them, but they won't change. change that back to 80 and then it is it's 80 and that's the reason I got this is so I can mess about with the PIDs while I'm at the field say they're having to do a little bit of tuning come on change it save it go back And all this is accessible through your radio. Life made easy. And the micro minimum OSD. So, let there be light. watching please like and subscribe i'll see you next time